Hi cutie, welcome back to my channel. So today is actually Thursday, but I meant to film this yesterday. You know, I was a little busy. So today I'm continuing the Career Cutie Level Up series. This is the Wednesday episodes that we discuss the career level up and what you can do to stay motivated. Let's get started. <music> So on this series, we discussed the level up. Remember in the very first episode, I was discussing how to make the transition or the career pivot from where you currently are to where you want to be. And I was saying, identify what your skills, how your skills transfer over and what may be holding you back from making that switch. So today I want to tell you all I officially graduated nail tech school and though I've, I've completed my 250 hour requirement there's more to be done I have way more to do which is fine because now this requires me to schedule out my priorities right so I graduated nail tech school I identified the field that I want to be in. So what skills can I apply now, right? Remember the whole transferable skills thing and thinking of ways to use my current skills to make me achieve this goal, right? So what do I have to do now? Remember I said scheduling. I'm good at scheduling, prioritizing, and organizing my schedule, right? So I have to take the next steps, meaning what are the actual requirements for me to become a permanent nail tech right a a, a, a permanent license a licensed permanent nail look at a licensed permanent a permanent license nail tech. you know what i mean you get it. i have to become permanent right now i'm temporary which still has all the privileges of a permanent however to fulfill and complete these goals, I have to outline the very next steps for myself. So for you, what phase are you up to in your career transition process? Did you think of the field you wanna enter? Or did you first think of the skills you have and then align the skills you have to industries that you are interested in? So let me tell you about me. Now that I have a, a temporary nail tech license, I have to hone in on my skills. Knowing that I was like doing acrylic and everything else, I have to now practice more. So knowing that the acrylic is not an issue for me, I have to actually work on clients. Cause doing the fake hand that I've been using, it is good, but no. It, it wobbles here, it wobbles here. I need to actually practice on humans. So you're gonna see some footage of me working on a client. And to, to take my skills I have, I'm gonna jump right in. I'm going to start doing manis and petties on people. This is so that I know that I'm putting to use the skills that I learned within this program. Just because one area is not as strong as the other doesn't mean I have to sit back and not do anything. Right? So for me, I can figure out how to use it and when to use it. Right? So say if I have a full-time job now and I'm still honing my skills, I can take a part-time job working in a salon or working from home until I able to make it a full-time obligation. So scheduling, how will I schedule that? Working a full-time job, right? And then taking my free time, taking customers. And this will require me to become a travel nail tech. If I don't have no location to do one set of nails or uh, a home where people can just meet me there, I can travel, you know, so there are several options that I can um, utilize to make myself great. So for me, I'm jumping head in like, <laughs> like that, right in the deep end, you know, and just start swimming from there. I mean, I'm not going to sit on this. I'm going to use it. You know, like I said, this is my own race. This is my own goal no one else's not yours not his not hers 
mine. So knowing that much, sis is happy. Like I'm really excited because I was explaining to my friend, right? I have this new skill set to hold, which allows me to kind of um, balance out my creativity. You know, so growing up, you know how you had school and you was in class and you're doing fun stuff. And then you had extracurricular activities. Me, I was always in the extracurricular activities. I explained this to my friend, like this helps me be, be creative outside reading and writing. Yes. So some creative things I would do as a child is I did pottery, AKA ceramics. So nails to me, nails is similar to that because you're using your hands, you're crafting, you know? So for example, pottery, right? Um, I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but it's ceramics. You take a mold of like dirt, and water and you mix it together to form a mold right and then you can even knead it with your hands or shape it in a mold where you put it in like a heating oven and bake it right here's where i compared it to doing nails so you have nails right which is an already formed polymerized piece of plastic thingy similar pottery is already a mold and it's already shaped which each item what do you do you create something Nails, you have to file, shape, color, add acrylic, enhance. Similar pottery, you have to cut, you have to design, you have to paint. And when you, you know how you do gel nails? What do you do with your nails, right? You gel it, when you put it in the UV lamp, right? What do you do with the pottery? You take the glaze, you put it on there, and what you do? You put it in the oven, and when you when, when you pull it out the oven, you got a nice glazed design similar to your gel nails. Your nails is all gelled up and, and shiny. This was the comparison I, I made and had my friend understand why I needed to learn a hands-on skill to help me balance out both sides of my brain. Because it, it helps keep it like, you know, even killed. I get to be smart and fun and bookwormish while balancing out the creativity, you know, the sloppiness of creating, you know. So, like, in, in, in learning nails, right, I'm learning how to paint better. I'm learning how to shape better. These are things that I haven't, like, honed since a child. And, and for me, I came into this thinking what transferable skills I have. But, but on the other side... It helps me think of what skills I need to work on. You see how it's twofold? You lose yourself to find yourself. So I'm coming into this like, yeah, I could do this, I could do this, I could do that. Once I started doing nails, I'm like, Oof, I don't have the patience for this. Oh God, my back hurt. <laughs> you know, <laughs> excuse me. But um, it taught me how to be patient. And most importantly, how to, how to make my area welcoming to a client does that make sense like keep my area clean so people could be welcomed and you know like cleanliness is next to godliness not that i'm a messy dirty person it depends on the day <laughs> but um yeah make it welcoming you know so knowing these small things like changing my tables making sure my implements are clean make sure this is sanitized and it's all to to like welcome that into me to to like my life you know as to have a customer i know it sounds a little too deep but um this is how i saw it you know like so yeah so in career cutie i just finished nail tech school and my next steps are to come i just want to give this quick career cutie update to encourage you all because i I get a lot of text messages and a lot of messages in my inbox telling um, me, oh, I'm doing a great job. You, yeah, Your videos inspire me. Oh, wow. Can you give me some advice? And um, I just want to say thank you for watching my videos because this is the main reason why I did it. I speak to my friends a lot about these things on individual basis, but um, I'm here today showing my vulnerability to the world, um, to you subscribers, whoever's out there. Hello. I'm just sharing it with you all because why not? Why not? You know? And I um I want some information from y'all too. So comment, like, share, subscribe, let me know what's up. And um I will be posting again on my regular schedule because I have time again. 
And if anything interferes with that, I will give updates. So please like, share, subscribe. Um, you know you're a cutie. Stay cute and always be cute. Um, it is what it is. Have a great day and I'll see you again. Thank you for watching. Mwah.